Aries. Happy August. This is Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your monthly tarot scope for August um, 2016. I hope July treated you fairly well. And um, we're moving right along into this hot, hot time in Houston. So big hugs and thank you, Aries, for your support and for always leaving comments and hitting me up on Instagram and just making me feel welcome into this YouTube community. So I really wanted to tell you thank you. So let's jump into your reading. So before us, we have the Ancestor of Skill from the Shaman's Oracle by John Matthews and Will Kingham. Now, this this card, I kind of it kind of makes me think of justice, okay? So you got to think outside of the box. And this is all about balance and wisdom. So it says, I stand for the artistry of life itself and can teach you how best to access the single most important skill of all, knowing the art of living. So it's no longer time to survive, guys. It is time to freaking live. So this is like a deer and a person fusion. So it's kind of like merging your animalistic energies and your humanistic skills. And this makes me think of the deer. And so this kind of tells me that you guys have gone through a lot. It's time to be gentle and unconditionally kind to yourself and love yourself, okay? The hybrid of a deer and a person expressing how important it is to blur the edges of a common perception and seek skills from unusual, even unlikely sources, okay? Trust your instincts to guide you through. This is all about recognizing your ability and dancing where others run, finding joy in your skills so that you can move to the next level wherever you want to go, Aries. All right. So this is a general reading. And when I say general, I mean general, like broad. This is not a personal reading. Um, if I connect with you, awesome. If I don't, womp, womp, womp. I hope I can connect with you maybe on the moon sign or the um, or your rising sign. So check those out. Um, also, if you're cross-watching, you know, and you're really hoping for loom and gloom, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's not good to wish bad things on people. <laughs> so this is going to be a, a five-card reading. I'm going to be using the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. And it's just going to give us insight on how this ancestor of skill is going to manifest in the life of Aries. I'm going to bless the cards real quick, and then we're going to get started. Alrighty, they don't want to go at all. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to move this over to the side. And in the past, we had to we had to make a decision. My gosh, this is like the fourth or fifth time this card has came out. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna say like I see this card, and I don't know if you guys remember or if you even know what I'm talking about. There used to be this song called. Um, Meet Me at the Crossroads by Bone Thugs Harmony. I don't even remember how to say it. But when I see this, I just like hear it over and over in my head. So it's just killing me that this card keeps coming out. The present, we are having to figure some stuff out right now with the five of arrows reversed. The hidden influence is the king of disc. And the advice is from our carob of cups. And the possible outcome is death. Bang! Some's got to die. Overall energy, Aries, you've got the lovers. It's time to make some wise decisions. All right. So without further ado, I'm sure you're ready to figure out what the hell is going on, Aries. I know you are some take charge kind of people. So let's see what we got going on. So right before me, I have right here. Let me see if I can make it brighter. Nope, that makes it worse. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. All right, so we have to, we're at a crossroads, <laughs> and um, we have to make a choice. We have the two of wands. This is you, Aries, because I see the Aries on top of the little wands, and I got a ring. Who are you trying to put a ring on, Aries? <laughs> but um, overall energy, this is in the past, okay? This is just telling us that you had to make a decision. Do you stay? Do you go? You're at the crossroads. You just don't know, all right? If this is like, if this is a situation, so I'm trying to make this very broad. So I see a love situation. This could be a career situation. Um, we're going to go with if this is a love situation, there might be some problems in the relationship. And there might have been like some domination going on and someone was trying to control somebody, pressuring them into the relationship. I don't know. That's 
but a decision is now called for, whatever it is, whether this is relationship-based or career-based. And it's time to be more independent, okay? Make, make a very clear and concise decision and stick to it, all right? Now in the present, now we're dealing with that decision that we made and we're the five of arrows reversed. Five of arrows reversed has been coming out for a lot of people lately. Um, and I shuffle the hell out of these cards. <sighs> so we have Anzu. And when he's reversed, he's, he's having to make some... He's like, damn. He's a pessimist. So Aries, it's going to get better. Like, it's got to get better. So swallow that pride, baby. And watch for hidden dangers. You need to be open to change and let the resentment go. Whatever happened, happened. And you just got to merge on the road, okay? Because the hidden influence that you have right now is the king of discs. And he's coming in to help you. So for some, this is an energy. And for some, this is a person that's coming in to help. And who else better to help you than the best businessman in the world, Nina Tura, okay? <laughs> so Nina Tura is the king of discs. And oh, yeah, okay, let me tell you the story about this. So Nina Tura, um, he goes and he defeat the first when, when blah, 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 let me slow down. When the five of arrows is upright, it shows when the Anzu bird escaped him. Okay. It shows when Nina Tura didn't succeed. Whatever it was, Aries, whatever it is that you're going through, you succeeded because Anzu is, is reversed. All right. So in the present moment, it might look like a bunch of crap, but you succeeded because Anzu is now defeated, okay? So the message I feel is like the hidden influence, it doesn't look good right now, but it's good, baby. It's good because Nina Tura defeats this, this bird who steals the tablet, all right? All right, here we go. Now, this is all about a stimulating, fertilizing energy. Ooh, that sounds kind of sexy there, doesn't it? And it's about material production. Something is going to grow. And so there's like some growth going on for you. Like I said, this is either an energy that's coming in, it's a hidden energy, or this is like a hidden outside um, ally that you have. If this is a person, now realize this is a general reading. So just because it's a king doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's always going to be a man, okay? But this is like some energy that's coming in. This is a hard worker. They're very patient. They're reliable and conservative. Um, a very good businessman. So for some of you guys, you're trying to make some business decisions, okay? And you thought that you you were like, man, this shit don't look good. I shouldn't have made this choice, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then this businessman sweeps in and he's like, watch out, man. We're going to take it to the next level, okay? Now we have the Carib of Cups and he's like blessing Nina Tura. And he's like, you know what? You got this business. You got this um, relationship, whatever it is. He's blessing you and he's cleansing and purifying whatever situation it is that you have going on, Aries. So let me see what it is. He's blessing with the spirit of initiation. So basically, I feel like, Aries, you are walking into a part of your life right now, and you're leaving some shit behind. And it's about time, Aries, because you are all about your business. And, and, and the spirit of initiation is, you know, you see him, he's like, bam. You know, he's got these big, broad shoulders. It makes me kind of think of, like, Terminator. I don't know why. But um, he's standing there, and he's about to start something. He's going he's gonna to wreck shop in there, okay? He says, you are not alone on this journey, so choose your path. That's right, because you have the king of disc, and he's coming, and he's like, come on, buddy, let's do this. We got this. So the experience of being guided by otherworldly beings can still be ours today if we learn from the spirit of initiation, awareness, strength, enlightenment, the gift of vision, the path of transcendence. Access of inner wisdom and welcoming transformation. Whatever it is that you're going through, you need to allow the energy to happen. So this carob is out here. He's like cleaning, cleaning up the mess, okay? And he's blessing the mess that happened so that you can be awakened. And it says, I am the spirit of initiation. With me at your side, you will begin to understand the mysteries and wonders that surround us at all, us all at every moment of our lives, okay? This is about starting fresh. And then, so the possible outcome is death. And when I'm looking at the death card, you, you know, Erishkagal, she's sitting there like, come on, baby. 
and you're like, mm -mm, uh -uh, I'm done, I'm gonna let it go. And a risk call is one of these entities that if it's not dealt with, if you do not allow, if you, how do I say it? Don't deal with the psychological shit that, what that happened. If you just keep letting it spill over into your life, then what's gonna go on with a risk call is it's just never going to end. It's not, it's not, um, it's just one of those things. It's just, if you ignore it and suppress it, it's going to come out in other areas. And this card is attributed to Scorpio. Okay. So Aries, this is you, you're, you're coming into your own. Okay. You're changing something. You're letting something die. And it just makes me think that if this is a relationship, okay, and the possible outcome is death. And, and I'm gonna throw this out there. You can throw it back at me if you don't like it, okay? If you're unhappy, just let it go. And it cannot be fixed. Just be brave and walk away. And if you're single, okay, you need to change and you need to build your self-esteem in order for love to come. That's what a rich gall is there for. Um, this card is all about transformation. So just think about changing. You're changing. Everything's changing. Spirit of initiation. The energy is changing. Destruction, that is actually a blessing. So whatever happened where the five, you know, the, you feel like the five of arrows reversed. You're just like, oh, fuck. You know, like, shit ain't going my way. Um, and then here comes the king and he reminds you, no, nah, you got this. I'm here with you. Don't worry about it. You're not alone. Let this die and let's go create something better. Then we have... Um, the lovers okay and so the lovers doesn't always necessarily mean love it can mean making a wise decision you're being presented ishtar is being presented with the cup of love by tammuz and she's like i don't know if i want to take that so you need to make a wise decision whether it is in love or whether it is in work there has to be a wise decision that's going to be made so i want to get a little bit more on this hidden influence from um Nina Tura. Show me the energy behind me. That's what I get. All right, he's going to come in when you feel like it's over, when you feel absolutely like it is completely, utterly over. Here comes Nina Tura, here comes your businessman, here comes your king of discs, however you want to look at him. He's coming in to save the day. He's coming in to tell you you're not alone. And then your Kara, who's giving you advice this month, show me what advice to use with the spirit of education. That's it. The hermit, oh, I mean, yeah, the hermit reverse. So you are getting hermitized. My friend made <laughs> my friend made that word up. I just love that word. You're going through the hermitization phase. However, it is reversed. So warning here, um, you need to be like the emperor, Aries. You need to go back and learn your lesson as the emperor. No. You need to go back and learn. My bad. I need to get my glasses. You need to go back and learn your strength lesson, okay? So you got to go back and get your confidence. And that way that the spirit of awakening can happen. Okay, so when I see the hermit reverse, that means that's what we have to go and learn. We have to go back and we have to remember how strong we are to remember our strength. And we have to, you know, make amends with that. So when this is reversed, the spirit of initiation is telling us, you know what? You got some lies and some fraud happening. And maybe you rejected the advice or someone rejected your advice. But don't worry about it, okay? Because we're going to let that shit die. So you have the tower and you have death. And you have the lovers. Bam, bam, bam. So shit popped off. We're going to let it die. Well, you even got the hermit. That's a lot of major Arcadia cards. So I kind of feel like this is a very strong message. So let me slow it down. Okay. So for some of you guys that are in a relationship, you, have, you were at a crossroads. You didn't know if you wanted to stay or you wanted to go. However, you, you needed to make a decision. You made the best one that you could. You decided to stay. Um, things that ha you things just aren't going the way that you wanted them to go. Okay, so then you get some help, and then the tower happens, and it looks like all is lost. 
you know, shit pops off, it's, it just don't even look right. And you're like, what the hell was I thinking? So then your carob, your, your ancestor comes and he starts cleaning up the mess. And he's, he's reminding you, he's initiating thoughts and ideas into your life and reminding you of who you are. So you, you're the hermit reversed because you're going, you're trying to retract, you're trying to pull back and you're trying to make sure that this new stuff that comes into your life isn't lies. Okay. And you're trying to refuse the help, but your spirit guide is saying, no, you need to accept the help. Okay, so accept the help this month, and then um, death will happen to the situation. There's no resurrecting whatever situation the tower happened. Just let it go. And then the, the overall message for you is to choose wisely. For some, this is love coming in. You will have love, and it more likely will be with an earth sign um, or a Scorpio, one of the two. Earth sign or Scorpio, I don't know why I said that. But... Um, don't go around asking people, when is your birthday? Uh, can I have your natal chart? No, this is basically, this is telling you it's, it's time to clear it's time to clear your energy. It's time to get rid of the old and bring in the new. So Aries, you have a lot going on this month. However, you come out making the wise choice because this is the lovers and that's the lesson of the lovers is making the wise choice. So you do make the wise choice this time around. Um, let me make sure that I'm not missing anything. I got a five, I got a seven, da, 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 da. So care of nine and seven, four. All right, so that's my message, guys. You're gonna make your wise choice this month. You're gonna you're gonna pull things together. This is a very general reading. Like I said, I see relationship and then I see business. So if this is if you're in a relationship, you might find out this month that that shit pops off but don't worry it's going to be okay because you're going to make the best choice for you you're either going to let it die or you're going to reconcile it's one of the two but when i see the tower i really feel like a big event is going to happen it's inevitable it's not something that you can um avoid okay so just be grounded and use those skills that your ancestors are trying to remind you of and um, don't pull too far back. Accept help. You know, if someone comes and offers help, you just accept it because it's not coming from a place of judgment. It's actually coming from a place of because they care about you. All right. And then for others, if it's not business and it's love, you better watch out for that um, that king of disc who wants to come in and, and um, make your world fall apart <laughs> in a good way. I'm thinking it's a good way because it's is awakening something in you. And so you're letting that outdated belief of love just go away. And then you're just going to choose wisely. All right. So Aries, I know that was really quick. I hope you guys, I hope something resonated with you. Like I said, this is very general. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at Ariana Luciano at gmail.com. Or you can um, hit me up on Instagram at Ariana Luciano. All right, I have a summer special going on right now. Usually my email um, readings are 20 to $40, depending on how much we get going, how many readings you want actually in the email. But each spread is $10, because um, I'm on vacation and I need stuff to do and I wanna connect with you. So if you wanna check that out, hit me up on Instagram or you can email me and I'll shoot you over some, some information. And trust me, the way my email readings are, they read just like if I'm talking to you too. My friends laugh at me all the time. They're like, oh my God, I feel like I can hear you in, in the background. So um, thank you very much. Uh, very warm welcome. Very warm. Thank you for welcoming me so warmly, Aries. And thank you for joining with me. I hope that this gave you some insight. Like I said, you have a lot of major arcania there at the end of the month. And a lot of it is your advice. And your final outcome is that whatever the situation is, if you're not happy, let it die, let it go, transform, and you will get the love that you desire or the partnership you desire or the business you desire because you will learn to choose wisely. All right, so you guys have a wonderful month. Thank you.